My name is William Mosley. I'm a professor of geography at McAllister College in the United States. And I'm here at the University of Montpellier, where I've been a visiting fellow at Maquit for four months. And I'm situated in the ArtDev Research Unit, which is Actor, Resources et Territoire dans le Développement. So I've been in here working on a book project on decolonizing African agricultural development. And I start out by looking at conventional approaches to agricultural development, how they're overly focused on monoculture and commercial agriculture, and showing how they're not addressing food insecurity. I argue that we need to have a, a radical change, that we need to engage in intellectual decolonization, looking at agricultural science fields and understanding their biases, and also thinking about political ecology. What's the broader scale political economy, the international institutions, the trading relationships, the national policies, that have been encouraging farmers to engage with their farm fields in a certain way. And so this will bring about a radical change, a shift towards agroecology. I'm looking at this in the level of four countries in Africa where I spent a lot of time working, Mali, Burkina Faso, Botswana, and South Africa, and show how this change towards agroecology, which is thinking about farm fields as uh, uh, ecological systems, how polycropping, composting, agroforestry will bring about a healthier system that produces healthier food for the family. And lastly, I look at international institutions and the role they play in this process and how they need to change. I applied to the Maquit program for three reasons. One is that even though I'm a geographer, I'm inherently interdisciplinary. And I was interested in this program's focus on science that's occurring at the, at the intersection of food or nutrition, health, and environment. This was appealing to me. And also, before I became an academic, I worked in development as a practitioner for 10 years, and I was very interested in the science policy interface and the privileging of that in this particular program. And lastly, because I largely work in the Anglophone world, I was interested in better understanding sort of francophone scholarship on this, on this topic and making connections here with scientists who work in the same realms as I do. So something that's interesting perhaps to know about me is in the early 1980s, I studied French in southern France. And in the intervening 35 years, I spent a lot of time in West Africa, of course, working in French and in local languages, but I hadn't had time to spend time in France. So it was really lovely to be able to come back, spend time here, work on my academic French vocabulary, and reconnect with people here.